The intent of Node Affinity is to give you the ability to schedule pods onto nodes with specific features. For example, only put this pod onto a node with a solid state drive. The intent behind the Pod Affinity feature is to give you the ability to co locate certain pods, e.g., always schedule the server cache onto the same node as the web server, or always schedule the web server in the same cloud provider availability zone as the database. Node Affinity and Pod Affinity are similar in many ways, but they also differ in a few important ways. I'll show you using an example. Here we have a config file containing a web server pod and a cache pod. Note that the server pod gets scheduled first since it comes up first in the config file. The cache pod is where all the action is. It defines a pod affinity scheduling requirement. Notice that it has the required during scheduling, ignored during execution field. This is the same type of hard requirement that we learned about with node affinity. As a consequence, the cache pod will only be scheduled onto a node which meets the following requirements. The required during scheduling, ignored during execution array takes the union of the requirements dictated by its array elements. In this case, there's only one. The label selector only matches pods which have the label role equals web server, like the one on the web server pod. So far, so good. Everything we just went over is more or less the same as what we learned about with respect to node affinity. However, pod affinity requirements also have a topology key field. This is an additional requirement that also needs to be fulfilled. Here's the idea. Pod affinity is all about co-locating pods in the same place, where place could be the same node, the same cloud provider zone, same region, and so forth. Well, the topology key field is how you specify what constitutes co-location. Before I can give you a better explanation, I need to take a few seconds to talk about some special node labels. Every node is automatically pre-populated with a subset of the following labels. Host, OS, Arch for architecture. <laughs> architecture, uh, instance type, zone, and region. The first three, host name, operating system, and arch, will probably be there on every node. The last three, instance type, zone, and region, are more relevant to cloud providers. The latter three may or may not show up on a node. The label keys are universal, but the label values are not guaranteed to be the same from one Kubernetes provider to the next. Thankfully, what we care about are the label keys. That's because keys like host name, zone, and region are the values that you use for the topology key field. For instance, if you want to co-locate pods in the same cloud provider zone, you put the value of the topology key field as failure domain .beta .kubernetes .io slash zone. Or if you want to co-locate pods on the same node, you set the value of the topology key field as kubernetes.io slash hostname. Under the hood, topology key is just another label selector. All you need to remember is that A, it's required, B, it cannot be empty, and C, it defines what constitutes co-location. So to conclude this little tour of our first pod affinity example, the cache pod will only be scheduled on the same node as the web server pod. This is due to the combination of the pod label selector and the topology key field. 